Hello students. So we have seen that any gas contains two specific heat. One is at constant pressure and one is at constant constant volume. But the question is which one is greater or which one is smaller? And generally, the uh, the specific heat at constant pressure is greater than that of specific heat at constant volume. Why? So let's see. Now, according to first law of thermodynamics, we know that when a gas is heated, isn't it? Then some part of the heat is used up to increase its internal energy, that is to increase its temperature, and the rest part is utilized to do some work against the external pressure, whose expression is dQ is equal to dU plus PdV. PdV means dW, and dQ is the total amount of heat energy supplied energy. Why dU is the change in the internal energy that is increase, which is means the change in its temperature, and the rest part is PdV. We have already learnt that is work done by gas that is dW equals to PdV. So now, now if the gas is heated at constant volume, what would happen? So since in this case the volume is kept constant, so it means there will be no change in volume. So according to the first law of thermodynamics we can write that is dq is equal to du since there is dv there is no change in its volume why because the gas is heated at constant volume volume is constant so there is no change in volume so this part will become zero it means in this case the required heat the supplied heat energy will be used up only it means the total amount of the heat energy is totally used up only to Increase in its internal energy, in its temperature. The gas don't have, will not do any external work against external pressure. Since we always know that a gas always does work externally due to expand, due to increase in its volume because of the total dV. So when a gas is heated at constant volume, the total heat energy, whatever be the heat is supplied to it, is totally used up. Only to increase its total energy. Clear? So it means it performs only one work. Now, if the same gas is heated at constant pressure, so in this, in that case, what would happen? Now, in this case, volume is not constant. So, in this case, temperature will also increase, and along with temperature, its volume will also increase. It means along with temperature will change. And along with this temperature, volume will also change. So since in this case, the change in volume is taking place, isn't it? So the gas will have to do some external work against external agent, that is external pressure. So in this case, we get the complete expression of the first of third point, that is dQ is equal to dU plus PdV. That is, some part of the supplied heat will be used to increase its internal energy, that is temperature, and the rest part will do, okay due to its expansion and it will do some external work due to external energy. So here we can see there is only extra term that is PdV at constant pressure. Now since in both the cases, for same change in temperature, see in both the cases temperature is changing by the same amount. Change in temperature is same, so it means that the change in internal energy will be also same. So this one the due due will be same because at both the cases, if we hit the gas at constant volume and if we hit the gas at constant pressure, the change in temperature, increase in temperature is the same in both the cases. So the change in internal energy will be also same. Clear? Because internal energy only depends on the temperature of the gas, nothing. Okay. Not only, nothing on anything else. Okay. So dQ du same, so only extra time is PdV. So it means here the gas will do external work due to change in its volume. Isn't it? And it will do extra work. So, at constant pressure, okay, so this required heat energy, only the extra heat energy is required for increase in its volume to do some work. Isn't it? Since it, it will do some external work, so it needs some energy. So, what we will get, we'll get from this internal energy? So, both are same. Do you same? There is same change in temperature in both the cases. So, the change in the internal energy will be same. Only extra term in case of CP that is due to change in volume. So that's why it means in case of 
the constant volume okay in case of the at constant pressure if we heat the gas at constant pressure the gas will do okay extra heat energy will be required only due to change in its volume okay okay so the extra amount of heat energy is required in case of constant pressure okay only due to work done by the gas due to change in its volume that's why generally constant pressure the specific heat at constant pressure is always greater than specific heat at constant volume since in case of constant at constant pressure it needs extra amount of heat energy only due to change in its volume because in this case the gas needs to do some external work then this is first process now this is second process okay now, suppose there is an ideal gas at pressure p volume b and absolute temperature t now if we heat if we heat and if temperature is increased by a small amount dd okay so now again according to first law thermodynamics dq is equal to du plus pdb give it number one equation now if the gas is heated at again at constant volume means no change in its volume so according to the definition of the specific heat at constant volume we can write supply heat energy is equal to cv into dt why the specific heat at constant volume is the required heat energy to increase its temperature okay so dq is equal to cv dt now from if we use equation 1 Since the gas is heated at constant volume, okay. So now it means P D V down should be zero. Since there is no change in volume, so the gas don't need to do any work. So work done by the gas will be needed. So we can write D Q is equal to D U equals to C V D T. Since D Q is equal to C V D T, now if the same gas is heated at the constant pressure, so then it means the increasing temperature is same D T. So D Q is equal to C V D T. Now in this case, along with its temperature. Volume will also change. That is increase. So then it will take the original formula of the first law thermodynamics. Dq is equal to dU plus p dV. Then dQ is equal to cp dV. Again, this is the required heat energy to increase the temperature of unit mass. Is it the temperature of the body of unit? That is that increase increment we have assumed dT. So now in place of dQ we can put the value cp dV. Then dU we have already got cb cp dT. Since total energy is used up only. To increase its internal energy, C B D T from here, so C B D T into P D P. So now, okay, keep C B D T on the left side. So it's C. Then we will take common D T. So C P minus C B into D T equals to P D P. Now P D P is equal to one D T. Why? Using the ideal gas equation for one mole of gas, that is P B is equal to R T. Okay. So P B is equal to R T. So P D P is equal to R into D T. Then D T D T cancels. So only we have C P minus C B is equal to R mole of gas constant. So Cp is equal to Cb plus R. It means adding something with Cp, we are getting Cp. Cp plus R. So clearly we can say Cp greater than Cb. This is according to theoretically also helping some mathematical expression. But here using first law thermodynamics and totally mathematics. Okay, mathematical expression we can clearly see that the specific heat, the specific heat of a gas at constant pressure is always greater than that of at constant volume. Because in case of constant pressure, the gas does some external work. Do some external work due to change in its volume. Okay, so that's why Cp is always greater than Cb.